trip to, to Florida was uh, successful. I did a straight through drive and it took me about 22 hours which uh, <laughs> was a extremely long drive. Uh, I was by myself so it was just me, the road. Most of the time it was uh, pitch black dark. stretch of the of the road was pretty I was getting the drowsiness so but uh, every, all in all everything went cool uh, no issues the GPS I had even though the maps are out of date and I didn't feel like paying the $50 for whatever a one time update or almost $90 for updates forever even though it might be cool to have them but uh, everything worked well no issues getting here um, so yeah I guess uh, the main differences that I've uh, that I've seen from Florida to Oklahoma is I mean it's it's nice weather everything every day has been in the mid 70s right now and it's right now it's uh, the beginning of March and you know the nights have been kind of cool but nothing I can't handle you know they're cool nights you know around in the upper 50s lower 60s is like the mid-range highs for Oklahoma right around now so everything seems everything's going cool with that um, their trees you know Florida has palm trees you see them around but a lot of the other trees they have this stuff hanging off of them like it's a uh, dull gray green and it, I guess it's moss I don't know I kind of think it looks kind of cool uh, my girl she they think it looks ugly or whatever so I don't know it's, it's different to me I don't see it on trees in Oklahoma but I think it looks kind of cool uh, I guess the main difference that I've noticed is is driving if you can't tell from behind me but we're doing I'm doing almost probably 10 over I don't know I don't know what the speed limit is right now but I've noticed in a lot of cases on the highways and on the roads if, if you're doing 10 over the posted speed limit people are still passing you which is which is pretty weird because in Oklahoma if you're doing 10 over you're you're flying you're passing everybody by you know there's not a lot of people in Oklahoma who you know do the whole five over or whatever you get a couple people who who drive kind of crazy but in Oklahoma Oklahoma interstate driving for for the for the main reason for the main I guess uh, for the majority there you go for the majority of people like the public yeah these people in Florida they drive crazy they are speeders and it doesn't bother me one bit. I I love to, to speed. Going 10 over doesn't bother me one bit. You know, most of the time, if I'm going 10 over and people pass me, I'll, I'll be right with them. I will follow them to the end of time until we all get pulled over. So, uh, another thing I noticed is uh, on the highways, like a lot of the highways have been three lane they have signs posted that no trucks can be in the far left lane which is pretty cool because there have been you know in Oklahoma most of the you know most of the highways except the newer ones they're they're through they're two lane so if you get semi trucks trying to pass each other it takes them a good minute to to kind of get past everybody and it does slow people down traffic um, but another thing is I don't know if it's a courtesy thing or it's just something people do in Oklahoma but uh, people don't scoot over like if they're in the far left lane and they're going the speed limit and you're not and you're passing people 
know, in Oklahoma, if you see somebody coming up on your tail and is obviously doing a faster speed limit than you, I guess it's common courtesy, you know, you try to scoot over when you can to let them pass. And in Florida, they don't do that. They just stay right where they are and you have to go around. <coughs> I mean, which I, I guess makes sense because if you're the person who wants to go over the speed limit, why do why do the people going the speed limit and following the law have to I guess see see like if like if you can't tell the people behind me or whatever around me like they're they're passing me by like I'm almost standing still and it's crazy uh, but uh, why why would people who are I guess abiding by the law and driving the speed limit should have to inconvenience themselves to I guess merge into an open lane so you who is obviously speeding uh, to continue to speed unhindered like it, it doesn't bother me a lot it's just a noticeable difference from Oklahoma um, I, I don't live in a city area I live in I guess the country uh, and it's it's something that I also have to get used to because I used to live in Northwest Oklahoma City, which was everything was all around me. Like I had restaurants, Walmarts, you know, anything that I really needed was all within a couple of miles of me, which was awesome. But now for Florida, living in the country kind of side or whatever, but kind of have to drive a little bit and all in all you know I have no no real complaints everything's pretty cool chillax I have no issues right now I guess the only main issue is being out in the country my cell phone service is crap so in the place that I'm at 1.1 miles exit right then keep left because my GPS telling me where to go because I am clueless in Florida but uh, in the place that I'm staying the inside you don't get very well uh, reception so if I ever need to uh, you know make sure a text gets out or make a phone call I have to go outside and stand on the porch and whatnot just to just to get in service isn't too bad hopefully I can get a new phone here uh, pretty soon or whatever and be able to connect to wireless or whatever in point three miles exit right hey there this GPS has been a lifesaver like really I I don't know where exit I'm going right. I don't know what's where and it's, it's been it's been pretty good in point three miles keep left it's kind of annoying because it keeps on talking sometimes but that's okay so um, yeah keep left uh, here recently uh, the the city that I'm in is plant city which I guess is the capital for strawberries on the off season or something but so they have this whole big festival. I, I, me and my girl, we don't plan on going to it or nothing. It's, you know, it costs money to get in. It costs money for this and that. It's just a whole bunch of money. So, uh, but they do have these uh, stands from the farmers here that, you know, they, they pick the strawberries and that day they sell them on the side of the street. And compared to the strawberries, you see a Walmart in Oklahoma the colors and the sizes and the freshness it's just unmatched like I saw these and some of these are blood red I mean they are they're they're they are just a level under under the sweetness for, for having to put sugar on them. I know some people like, you know, 
dip them in sugar somewhat so they have that little bit of sweetness or whatever these like you I, I can eat them plain like we bought this big ass flat what they call it um, which is about I don't know I don't know it's I would have to say maybe four four times bigger than the biggest size they sell at Walmart I don't know but it was like eight bucks for freshly picked that day strawberries and that is a crazy price compared to you know five or six dollars for a little basket at Walmart in Oklahoma and since we got them I have been putting strawberries in everything eating them plain this morning I washed them off and cut them up and fresh strawberries and cereal like unmatched you can't you can't get that anywhere else so you know uh, I've been to a car meet last this weekend um, you know I don't really know where they all meet yet where everything's at so one of my uh, one of our acquaintances they they go out sometimes on the weekends and they you know they they do the car scene and they have motorcycles and they go cruising around their motorcycles a lot and they kind of just tell me well there's there, these two spots where you know they kind of hang out sometimes and you know last Saturday I just went out kind of exploring set my GPS up and uh, you know I found some people there was a group of people on the side of a road next to a bridge on next to the Gulf of Mexico or something I had no idea how to get to but you know I just kept on driving went to the destination and there was you know about uh about eight people there you know they're really cool you know there wasn't I didn't do a lot of talking I'm not a big uh, first time people person uh, so I just kind of hung out and just kind of I don't know spectated I guess but they had some pretty nice cars there's uh, like two or three 240 SXs and there was another Genesis guy out there which was really cool I was cool I was pretty glad to see another Genesis guy out there uh, but all in all everything was cool I just went up said hey guys what's going on man I, I just moved here from Oklahoma you know I just came out here to check the scene out see what's going on of course it was like 12.30 1.1 miles keep left then you know, exit right there we go. it was like 12.30 and everything already been kind of shut down so people are just kind of hanging out chilling which was cool we went to another spot and hung out you know then we all eventually went home experience for the first time I didn't record anything on my GoPro because I just don't want to be some random new guy showing up with you know GoPros and just recording everybody so uh, I'm supposed to be going out to a meet tonight with my girl uh, let's see how that is I don't know too much information she just kind of sent me left a, then exit right she just kind of sent me a text message saying hey we're going to a meet tonight so uh, hopefully that'll be cool I uh, hope to get some footage from that uh, I guess uh, I'm on my way to a meeting right now here in uh, somewhere next to Tampa hopefully it won't take too long on the drive home I'll try to try to get some footage of the drive home so yeah, I guess that's about it I'll try not to make this too long but it probably already, but it probably drive 1.2 miles then keep right oh my god that's what it does. It's not used to these roads, and you go, and it tells you to recalculate, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, cool. Peace out. I uh, hope you guys, you know, watch some other videos, and hopefully I get some more car Five. stuff going on. Five. He's looking for a fix in the wrong place, wrong time Caught up in the mix of the cold days, hot nights Gotta get down with that new craze, new high I don't give a fuck I'm loving every minute of this fast life Baby, take my hand and I'll show you paradise Gonna dress up, mess up your mind Like I don't give a fuck I'm in too deep And I can't stop Dancing with fire, dancing with fire It's a sick dream And I can't stop Dancing with fire, dancing with fire I know that I shouldn't stay But I do anyway I'm
I should be.